Thank you so much for choosing to be here with me tonight. My name is Enimo Enimado. And for the next um, 48 minutes or so, we're going to be having a conversation about business. Um, it's always exciting, you know, when we have these conversations, you know, where women come in, successful women come in, and, um, you know, they can talk to us about their businesses and the challenges and the successes and, you know, give us tips on how to navigate um, business. This is always exciting because it hasn't always been like this. Um, we know that a very, very, very maybe long time ago, you know, women were not economically empowered as much as they are today. Um, so it's always really exciting for me when we can have these conversations. Super excited tonight because I have two amazing, amazing women. I'm going to try not to discriminate um, because one of them, you know, went to get hip, So I'm <laughs> going to try not to. Um, but Mabel is here. Hi. Mabel is the owner of M Sims. Hi, Mabel. Good evening. Hi, anymore. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. So Mabel... Um, Obviously, when live pure, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and not do that. Um, but also, my other guest is another good friend um, of mine, and it's interesting, Baba. Yep. Um, so Baba and I are in Roverman together. But Baba, you know when? So many, many years ago, I I don't know if you were kind of startingish when. I first met you. Obviously, you weren't as established as you were today. Yeah. But you were just really quiet, you know. And there was always, like, these whisperings of, oh, you know, Baba is doing Kente, and Baba is doing Kente. And, and it was, it was like, so under G, under G, under G. And then all of a sudden, you know, it kind of, like, just boom, you know, in your face. So it's been... I always get a little bit emotional, like, you know, when I see you out there doing something, I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've probably never said that before. But anyways, so Baba, um, owner of Go Back Hinti, um, is here as well. So welcome, you guys. Thank you, Enima. And I'm still very, very quiet. Yes, yes. Very, no, you are. But yes. I mean, obviously, the brand that's, that's is more. how I am. But the brand is there. The brand is yes. here. And of course, um, Mabel's, your brand is also very well known. Um yeah. For really interesting I love things. Sims. I've loved yeah, really, really, I'm so really happy to be here with Really interesting things. Yeah, very. inspired me so many years. Oh, it's, look at you. So many years. <laughs> wow. She's done well. She's built a brand. How many years has it been? 14. Wow. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Family, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you are also up there. Like, Thank Goba you. is like the go to Kente. For Kente, yeah. For Kente yeah. now. And the, the one you won your birthday, like, mm. that was. Wow, observers mm. have been observing. Like, Thank you. The hand painted? Yes, they loved it. Come, let's Very do creative. one for you. Definitely. Like yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't yeah. celebrated my 40th very well. So, yeah. I'm we can talk come. about that. What, what does yeah. that mean you haven't said? You've <laughs> celebrated. The day has passed. So, no, you're no. saying you have it's been a well. year-long celebration. Hey, madam. Yes. <laughs> I don't know about that. Anyway, so let's get into business. Let me start with you. Um, just, um, Mabel, take us through maybe just about three minutes of what it was like. You know, the starting and, you know, kind of up to where we are now. So, um, Emsim started 14 years ago. I think these days people say they are tired of hearing how much we started our businesses with, but I ask myself, do they want to hear the truth or do they want us to lie? Yeah. But then we started very small, mm. like, you know, I remember I started with my own savings of a hundred cities and a colleague in the office gave me a hundred cities to start. Wow. So that was like 200 and I'm not lying about this. <laughs> and, um, I started working for my parents' porch. I love art. So I did okay. visual arts in Wesley Girls. Okay. And then I did communication design in um, KNUSD. So my background is in art. But um, after school, you know how it is like, everyone wants to work in the office, you know? So I didn't really do anything related to art then. Um, I worked here in multimedia at Hit FM as a producer for a while. And then um, I moved on to work with a marketing communications company. But the love for art was still there, there and yeah. um, at a point I asked myself that okay four years of studying communication design studying visual art I still love art what can I do I didn't want to do graphic design okay so um, I said okay I want to do something with the African print you know so I started making dress brooches and built and um, I didn't know how to sew then <laughs> wow okay so, <laughs> yes. that's interesting <laughs> I would go to my seamstress and then she'd make something, but I was looking at the timelines and all, and it wasn't really working out for me. So I said, okay, then I need to employ somebody. So I asked around and then got one person to work with. And 
we started operating from my parents' porch, what we call veranda. That's where we started working from with one sewing machine, my grandmother's sewing, sewing ma machine. Wow. Exactly, yes. That's how MSM started. And I remember my um, my storeroom was actually an old truck of my father that was parked in the compound. So that's where I would keep all my all raw materials. Wow. So from dress brooches and then somebody said, okay, can you make me a clutch purse? And then we just did a clutch purse. Can you make me this? Then we'll do it. Like it was just trial error. Then one day we had a contract and um, we're pressed for time. And I had to sit behind the sewing machine and sew. Like just use my mind and say, okay, I can operate it. I can do it. Okay. That's so I taught myself how to sew, to sew within that like, you know, period. And that's how MSM started 14 years ago from my parents' porch. Now we all, we have our own um, fiscal shop that we built in North Kanishi. Okay. So you've moved. We've moved from, from Osu. Osu. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Congrats. We've moved from Osu. Yes. Okay. We have our own shop, our own space, our own home now in north wow. kanishi yes it's that must feel amazing right um, yes i think despite all the challenges yeah it's fulfilling yeah yeah it's fulfilling and it just hasn't been us it just hasn't been the team it's also been our clients because we wouldn't have come this far without our clients without yeah. the support we received from you know every person that's bought from us that's recommended us that even likes our post on social media mm. you know it's just not us and it's by the grace of god that's we are where we are yeah. wow awesome mm. baba anyone yes tell us <laughs> tell us your story ah it's a very long one where do you want it to start <laughs> from, from the beginning <laughs> <laughs> and why kinti okay i mean okay okay so tell us why kinti and how kinti um, and then the kinds of kinti okay. because you really I don't use the word deviated because there's, it's like it has a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. But in a positive way, you've moved Kente from the very traditional to things. You know, like just. <laughs> <laughs> so why, how, and then the, the things? Ah, um, I always say um, unemployment <laughs> took me to entrepreneurship. Okay. Because I studied economics and mathematics in Legon after finding a job was quite difficult. I got some jobs here and there, but I didn't like it. So I had to make a decision and feed myself. Of course, you are a graduate now. Nobody's going to feed you. So I was, I was telling them since, I actually started with handbags. I don't know if that time you knew me then. <laughs> no, there was no. a point around 2006, it was really in vogue, printed bags and slippers. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that was my first business. And then I'll be going on campuses to sell to wow. students across. So my mom was like, you know what? If this is what you want to do, I've always loved to sell kente. Is this Your something? Mom. My mother. Okay. I said, kente, what is kente? Because mm. I didn't even own one. Yeah. But when she said, I was like, you know what? I'd give it a shot. Let me go to the home of kente, which we all know in Ghana as Bonre. Let me see what I can do with kente. So I went there. My, my husband now, then boyfriend, actually loaned me some money. Shout out to you, Harry and Michelle. I know you are listening. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Loaned me some money, and then that is how I started the business. So I go to Bonre, buy about four or five to ten kinti, and anymore, everyone that I met on the road, I would tell you that I'm selling kinti. The way I would say it, you might actually think I own this huge <laughs> mansion <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but I'll tell you that, you know what? It's a new startup. It's in my car boat. Would you like to see it? Um, somebody walked into the store recently and said, you know what, Baba? You've, I'm really proud of you. I said, why? She said, we met at Fiesta Royal. We were having um, breakfast. You finished, waited for us, spoke to hello ladies. Um, Baba and Kwa, I do kente. Would you like to see what I have? Anyway, it was just about five pieces of kente in the car boat. Wow. But guess what? My dream job came al along. When you were doing the Yes. Kinti. When I was doing the business. What job was that? It was banking. I've always loved to be a banker. Wow. Growing up, that was my, it was two things, to be an actress or a banker. So banking was my dream job. It came along. And then I totally ignored the business, forgot about it, killed it. So you went into the banking? Yes, I did. Okay, Left I everything. Know. I mean, I would have <laughs> clients call me. Um, we met you here. We got your card here. Are you still into the Kenta business? I said no. Um, working in the bank. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all done. So, 
I turned 30. This was seven years ago. I turned 30. I was like, God, what's the next step? And anymore, the instruction was so clear. Go back to your business. There was no business to go back to. To go back to, yeah. It was all done. I had stopped doing this close to five years. Nobody knew go back anymore. It wasn't even go back into it. It was just go back when I was selling the bags. So I said, it, okay. Let's go back something. Can you take a guess? Can you? Wow. Um, it used to be my initials. Okay. So A for Ankara. Okay. Ankara. Okay. Ankara. B for Baba. 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 And for then Gloria. Okay. My, but now we've been able to coin an acronym around Goba. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Ghanaian originated bold accessories just you know for Ghanaians. Like, <laughs> you know that like H, I would have said Harry. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, Globa. In glory, that would have, yeah. Because, I mean, M. Sims is quite straightforward, straight you know, maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that's So I just picked put. my initials, added the O mm-hmm. to it, and just put okay. together. But then I got that inspiration from Oprah. You know, yeah, I still Harpo. Harpo. Okay, so yeah. I said I could play with you my name with and your... then yeah. do this. 2018, let's pick up Goba again. Started, ba, 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 ba. And we are here. The Goba we all know, the Goba Kente. People seem to know and laugh so much. It's just about six years old. Wow. wow. But it's well, a lot yeah. of work that has gone into it. It started very small. Like you said, whispers here and there. But I didn't give up on it. It's small. That's your baby. When you water it, it will grow. A lot of people see it. They want it today. Mm-hmm. They don't want the work <laughs> and the processes that went into it. But there was a time that when I closed from my corporate work and I come home, this is when I work. This is when I learned how to do, to use social media to market my business. So instead of sleeping for about six hours, I would have just two hours of sleep. Because the next morning, you're going back to work. Mm. But I wanted this to work. And when I decided that finally I'm leaving the bank again, <laughs> <laughs> To come and do this fully, mm. told myself, Baba, there's no way out. Mm. You are coming to go back in Tay, and you are coming to build it and make it successful and make it a recognizable brand for Ghana. Because now our main identity is that we are preserving the cultural heritage of Kente yeah. in Ghana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look yeah. at what you mentioned. Mm. We've always known Kente to be red, yellow, green, your yes. regular yeah, 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 typical yeah. Ghana colors. Yeah. If we left it that way, it would die out. Would you want to work and say yeah, again? No, because no. you have it already, right? Yeah. You have it in the same colors. But let me make it juicy for you. Look at what I'm wearing. So how Neutral do you tone. Do, how do you... Because, you know, the Kente that you sell is... It does some... some what's, uh, if if I, I don't see you wearing it, or I don't see the Goba, I don't think it's Kente. It, it looks... I don't know what it is. <laughs> Did you know what I mean? It doesn't fit into the... It's bo- the yarns and putting creativity to practice. I always say these artisans are the most skilled. They need a lot of training and empowerment for them to believe in what they're doing. Because trust me, weaving this is not straightforward work. Every yarn in the loom is counted. Anyway, if they are doing it five in a row, it has to be counted. Then the next one will be about seven. Putting the colors together, it's a lot of work. But... That is creativity. It never runs out. Yeah. Yeah. So did they do it here? Or they, they do, do it, it here. They do. I have weavers in Accra, and then I work with weavers in Bonre too as well. We are building a, a lane community in Ghana. So wh- who designs the designs? We do. That like you have a team. Yes. So I have an illustrator. We put colors together, especially with the ombre designs that you see out there. You know, ladies, we all have our favorite colors. Somebody like red, purple. I want to see how the gradients will look like. Can you put it together for me? And then we pick patterns, inspirations online. It could be a flower that I saw somewhere or a dress that you are wearing. Pick it up and make a new creation for you exclusively. I think maybe that's 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 become the, um, the like your unique selling point is the, you know, the, the different types of, of kente that you're able to... Which is really exciting. So let me go back to Mabel. So take <laughs> us take us through your creative um, process as well, because you don't just do like one thing. Mm-mm. I mean, you know, you do a yeah, whole like lot a, of different a creative things. Creative hub. Yeah. So we make um, handbags, handmade handbags. We make laptop bags, backpacks, and now we are doing clothing as well. Okay. You know, we are doing boo-boos. We are like what I'm wearing. So there's our latest design. It's called the Bimpoma um, boo-boo. Okay. So make sure of tie and dye. Tie and dye, then fugu. fugu so there. fugu is like nothing. Kente. Kente. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's also mm-hmm. like a traditional fabric. So it's a blend of that. So we are also do the designs and then we stitch everything together from the bags to the clothing. We do everything 
you know, production space. So the idea is you guys kind of, so same way you sit mm. down and then yeah, you Yeah, so come we sit down. So, you know, sometimes um, it's just not myself. Although I'm the creative lead, I come up with a design. I look at it with a team because sketching and putting it together is different when you come to like, you know, um, the stitching or the manufacturing stage. So we all look at it. We do a sample, see what we have to take out, add, and even when we finalize it in the course of, I mean, selling, we still look at what to, how to improve the design. We just don't stop there. So it's a whole creative process mm -hmm. from sketches to colors, um, what kind of materials to use to the production stage. Wow, that's that's very interesting. Both of you, like really interesting. Anyway, so now let's talk about the business and friends and family <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, all of that. Um, you you think I think Mabel it was you you um you talked about your clients mm -hmm. and how you know they've made you who you are obviously the people who buy from you. Yeah. Let's talk about your friends for example. You know what what has that been? I know it's gonna seem like you're bashing <laughs> if you don't have positive things or whatever. Anyway, but but what what has it been like? You know, for the, me, the friend, um, your friendships. It's a business. Because um, you know we clients? don't we generally don't take our friends seriously. Like generally, like I mean I don't know, but most of my friends, if I'm doing something, they don't take me seriously. My friends, I give my friends is oh, I'm with Charlie, I'm like Charlie, you're on your own. Well, <laughs> like I'm not. For me, I have this mindset that it's a business. I'm serving everybody, just not my family or my friends. Okay, so you're not you're not focused on No, a few times you see people complain that oh, when they post something their friends don't share mm -hmm. or their friends mm -hmm. are not buying from them, but Honestly, I think I have more clients who are not friends or clients who have become friends. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've been. Than friends yeah. who have become clients. Clients, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, business is business. So it doesn't really bother you whether your friends no, are No, I think it's, it's just a mindset or... thing. Business is business. If you're my friend and you appreciate what I'm doing and you're not buying for me, well, it's not my problem. Okay. Those who appreciate what I'm doing would come and buy. Yeah. Does it affect your friendships? Um, sometimes it does, especially when they want discounts and you say no. <laughs> and freebies. <laughs> and freebies. But how do you control this? I think we've just put in a system. So as much as possible, I've tried to create a system where all orders go through the sales department. Because I separate my uh, my personal finances from the business finances. I try not to get it mixed up. Okay. And that's one of the ways that helped us grow. Okay. So imagine you have 50 friends. Mm. And everybody comes in and says, give me a discount. Count your losses. Yeah. Or every all the 50 people say, okay, I want this, but I'll pay later. How are you going to survive? How are you mm. going to buy your raw materials? How are you going to pay your bills? You know? So sometimes you've got to put in systems and you've got to be disciplined about it. But even with the systems, right? I mean, there's almost always room for... If, if you consider our, our cultural society, right? You know, if I come into your shop and you're saying, oh, you know... Um, the system is there, so I say, you know, uh, my, my response may be, oh, you cry, you're doing something, uh, you're being some way, you know, after all, it's your business, well, it's like, I just take, like, <laughs> let me just give you, like, what is that, like, you know, no, you know what it, I mean. it's true, you can't always be, like, you know, straight like that, but as much as possible, let's say, maybe even if it's 90% of the time, you need to follow the system you have put in place, yeah. because if you don't, as a leader, if you don't put that in place, what do you expect the other team members to also do? Well, I feel like it's easier for them to put it in place because it's not their business. You know, it's not like they can say, oh, I'm giving my friends but a discount. Leadership but leadership by example. Yeah. yeah, okay. Leadership by example. It's not easy, but, well, sometimes somebody comes, you don't even know the person, but through conversation, you know, willingly, you just say, okay, take 5% off, you know. But 90% of the time, you need to make sure that you're, because anyone, Imagine if MSEMS is giving discount to everybody. Mm. See how price changes all the time. Mm. And Baba would say this. We can't even change our prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't keep up you know, the, the So rates. sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, we are really at that tough place, you know, when it comes to pricing. So if you are giving discount, so that's how why sometimes we run promos. And we expect that people will take advantage of the promos. Because when you go to, let's say, 
ShopRite. These same people will go to ShopRite mm. and pay the full amount. Yeah. Well, because we don't know the owners. They're not our friends. So why do you need to know us? No, but I know you. <laughs> You're my friend. I mean, like, so... So if I am your friend, mm. then you should support me. Yeah, that's you what... You should that's be happy that, hey... We should even be willing this. to pay more. Exactly. We, but we are not. Why? Tell me. I don't me. know. It's just... I, I don't know. <laughs> It's just a, wi a wiring thing because, I mean, it's not just with you guys, but across both. So I'm thinking about, for example, the number of times that I walk into Red Ginger and I grew up with Christine and it's like, I'm not going to pay for color. I'm not going to pay for this. I'm not going to pay for this. And I've done it for years. You know, every so often she'll complain a little bit. And I'm like, but why are you complaining? Like, oh, oh, no, like, don't do that again. Like, no, you know, no, but you know, like, why are you complaining? I've come to go and wash my. She's like, but shampoo has become expensive, and this has become. Expensive. And I'm looking at her like, like, what is the point of the? Yeah, function? every now and I then, I I have to, can, you know. Like, yeah, every now and then we can say, okay, Baba, maybe this ten percent off, or there's a gift for you. Maybe it's your birthday. Yeah. We can give you something, but it shouldn't be. It's a All business. Listen, yeah, yeah. If yeah. our business collapses, okay. Yeah. You'd go and find another person who makes clothing. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be the ones who support you through the bankruptcy, though. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate because most Ghanaians, I'm sure, think, you know, think this way yeah. when it comes no, to No, most Ghanaians think friends. that. You see, this is how Ghanaians come. <laughs> let's say, let's say M. Sims made the sandbag, right? We are selling for, let's say, 500 cities, okay? Now, five hundred. M Sims make this. No, we didn't make this. This is Baba's bag. Okay. Yes. No, M Sims didn't make this. Bag. Okay. So let's say that this bag is five hundred cities, okay? And so this is how they calculate. Hey, let's say today she stole. She sold ten bags. Mm. So in one day, <laughs> she's made what? Five thousand. Five thousand mm. Ghana cities. They haven't calculated cost of raw materials, electricity, no. labor, mm -mm. even the thread. You know, maintenance costs, all the other utilities, water, VAT, but, yeah, water, yeah. you know, data. It's just that you've made, you're making a lot. Exactly. It's like how when I saw, um, <laughs> you know, I think two, two years ago, three years ago, the, like the biggest wedding of the year was the Kojo Jones, you mm -hmm. know. So when I saw that it was like Go Baba had done it, I was like, oh, Baba has become a She's man. a rich <laughs> one. Like, <laughs> me, it's like, she has arrived. Like, it's about time I pass that, you know, pick up a few pieces. Because, like, you know, Chanel, yeah. yeah. You know, I was like... I, I got that a lot. A lot of people sent me messages saying that. But guess what? That was my biggest order. So how do you even know if I priced it well? Yeah. Yeah. How do you even mm -hmm. make that analysis? Because you want the order, right? You don't want to lose that business. Mm. Yeah. So you would have to cut corners. What was that like? Because sure. I'm sure that was pretty. That was pretty big. Wasn't it was. It? it was big. And Kojo and the family, right from the mother to Kojo to the bride, all of them were amazing. We worked together as a team. They came together. They came with a peacock concept. They wanted to see it come to fruition. You call them. You send samples. They see it. They approve of it. Working with them was very easy. Then you give your quote. Okay. I'm charging this amount. I need 80% delivered. I'm um, down payment. They paid and then we started work. Okay, that's I like that easy. kind of client. Yeah, you <laughs> are. <laughs> I do. She said, but I like that kind of client. Let's talk about the friends. I have had very supportive friends. Okay. I, I have to be fair. I have to say that. I've had a doctor. I told you I was selling the bags. Mm. Zenabu was in medical school at college. I remember. I tell her, Z, I'm coming. Okay, Baba, come around this time. I won't be in lectures or anything. I would go around with you and sell with you. She'll be holding the things and going around to sell with me. When I didn't have money to pay models, I would tell my friends, I want to do a mm -hmm. shoot. Would you like to shoot? They will show up and come and, in, and yeah. come and do the shoot. So generally for me, my friends, they have been very supportive. Okay. And I've had friends who were willing to go and pay money elsewhere to go and find Quinty from there. I don't have any beef with you. By yeah. me, your birthday, you won't receive pain from me. <laughs> what, what my, what wow. my, yes. <laughs> I'm not, see, I'm not entitled to your money. And I'm not entitled to you deciding that, come choose Goba. If you do, you'll love it. Because we will give you something good for your money. Value for your money, right? You will feel good that you're wearing Goba Kente. Yeah. Because, hey, it's the ish in Ghana. But if you don't want to work with me too, it is mm -hmm. fine. I put yeah. in effort and make sure that I target my clients. Because maybe... Where I want to even take into to my friends can't see that can't vision. See, yeah, yeah. So I learned that very quickly. Okay. And the business has done well, is going to where it is right now. More of customers than friends. Okay. I've had a friend call me that ah, I tried calling you, you didn't pick up, so I had to go and buy into elsewhere. And then I asked him, 
the place you went to buy the pinte from, did you know the owner? He said, no, I found the number online. I said, so when you were trying to reach <laughs> my personal number, did you try to find Goba online? He said, oh, I didn't think about it. Or just way. go to the shop. Or just go to the shop. We had the flagship store there. He said, no, I didn't think about it that way. Then I said, no, it wasn't Goba that you wanted to do business with. It was Baba that you wanted to impress. But if we aspire to be all these global brands, then our friends should respect us enough to be able to stay away from the business. The business should be able to operate on its own. Separately, Separately. from the friendship. Because if everything surrounded around me, anymore, I won't have the time to go to my, my, my daughter's PTA meeting. I won't have the time to do that. I won't have the time to even take any small break. And any major thing would fall on you. Um, your friend, client, will tell you that. I tried to reach out to you. <laughs> you weren't responding. <laughs> but if there's a system and a structure in place, Mabel, I'm happy that you want to order Kente. May I ask Nana or Alfred or Patricia to assist you? Mm. And I move it quietly there. Okay. Yeah. That way, there's a system to it. Okay. My friends will still come into my DM mm -hmm. because they want discounts. Okay, so they come for discounts. They, they, they would come <laughs> for discounts. Some I stand my ground. Some if there's a way about it. Yeah. For example, we we just did um, a promo graduation. A friend called. Oh, I know your promo ended l yesterday, but I want to buy today. Can you do something about it? I said, unfortunately, no. Because I have a team that I'm working with that we are building. We are trying to build a system. So we said we are doing a one-day promo. If it's done, it's done. It's done. And, and I try to, to stand by the standards that I set. That must be tough. It, it is tough. Because your friends will tell you that what about so? Because now you are setting. Yes, yes. Like it's yes. me and you. Yes, are, yes, we yes. yes. Both but, and but it, it's one fine. day promo. One it's day fine, promo. It's fine, Because if I don't do it well and it fails again, you will laugh at me. You know when you're starting something, your friends don't come along. They don't really support you. Why are you resigning from the bank to go and do go back in tea? Yeah. What is go back in tea? But suddenly they'll be in your DMs. Baba, how did you do it? Do you know I want to leave too? Same people were laughing at you. So your friends, like you said, you go and do your hair. I, I, I won't allow you to do that. <laughs> like I have to talk to Christine. <laughs> no, no, no. If it's your birthday. There was an example. I know, I know. was an example. If it's your birthday, we are celebrating you anymore. Yeah, yeah. But let's make the money. Like, always bring the money. Pay cash. So that I say, names, you know what? Let's go to Campinski. Let's go and have a swim. Bill is on me. Because I know when yeah. you need something from Goba, you will bring the money and... The business would grow. Yeah. So if there are some returns coming in and I want to spoil my friends, I would go all out for mm, you. I get it. That's I get it. I mean, I brought it up because I think I really wanted us as women to really understand, for those who are not entrepreneurs, to really understand how much of a strain it puts on a friendship when you are not able to respect that. This Wonders. person who you are so familiar with yeah. And I think it's familiarity, it isn't is. it? Is, yeah. You know, it's it is. now a business person, and this is their livelihood. And so you are not entitled. But you see, it's not your friend that would put that boundary in place for you. It is you. Yeah. You have to even work on your personal growth. Your friend should be able to see the difference. You said you knew me. I was very quiet. Like... Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my business, yeah, I can see you like, blasting like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. No, 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 no. When it comes it, to it's business, different. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. different. It's when, like, because it this is what my livelihood depends on. Dep it. Yeah. Maybe you go to a structured work, a corporate work, and they pay at the end of the month. But this is what I do. Yeah. And you are going to respect me. I won't force you. But by the time we are done having a conversation, You'll you will know, know that, yeah. that this boundary. You are not, not going to. Cross. I totally get that. So another one of my friends who's also in business, Blondie, Body yeah. by Blondie. Um, I grew up with her. Um, so, you know, very close and very familiar. You know, and so she opens a shop, you know, and she's doing all of this, you know, all these products and stuff. And I go in there and I like stuff. You know, but I, I'm seeing a side of her that is, is different. You know, so then you realize that, okay. I'm like, okay, so how much is this? And, you know, she'll come and this is this and this is this. And I'm looking at her like... Okay, all right. So this is how much. So I'm supposed to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and but 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 I mean the the point that I'm trying to make with that again is it's not even for you guys, the business people, but it's actually for the us friends. the friends, you know, that awareness that um we should respect, 
you know, each other. Especially those those of us who are not entrepreneurs. I build houses. I can imagine if my friend came and was like, oh, house. Chale, mm-hmm. Chale, 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 my, my gutter is supposed in front of my house. Oh, Chale, Chale, you're supposed to give me two bags of cements. I mean, you are mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but but essentially, that's yeah. that's what, you know, yeah. that's, that's what it is. Yeah. So, okay, so now that we've done the friends thing. So I think basically you guys are saying that your clients... Are actually better at growing the business than your friends. Did. And some do become very good friends. Do you guys oh, yeah. expect your friends to post your things, retweet, repost? <laughs> or you've gone past? I've no, gone past, past, past it. Gone past it. <laughs> because see, a stranger will hype you. Yeah. I had to meet one girl in Kumasi. I, I couldn't believe it. Like everything we post, she's reposting mm, every yeah. time. So one w- one of my trips, I asked her to meet her for breakfast. Like she said, I just love go back into. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Imagine if I had thousands of those. Yeah. You, my friend, can you be rushing to to, yeah. to be seen? I don't yeah. know whether yeah. sometimes it feels like okay, if the post or they buy from us, we are going to get more money. But we got them, but no, it's a yeah. mindset. Thing, I I but. actually think it's something that we overlook as friends. I was thinking from the friends' perspective. Yeah. I think it's just something. Because listen, when you think we other go people would do it. Yeah, because like you know, when yeah. we go to the hospital, we need to pay like cash or like we, mm. we don't we don't we are not like in a corporate world where we have like benefits or insurance or all of that we need to work to build that insurance for our team members yeah but if you work in a corporate environment all these you have all these structures exactly yeah so look at the burden on us yeah no, I, I, I get it i get it I so um when when i was having that conversation with evans and mfr before you guys came he was talking about the fact that some businesses as I am in such a way because then I was talking about partners. So mm-hmm. let's talk about partners, love relationships, you know, all of that. Like, you know, the watch seller, some men who like to like date a watch seller because like you know, every morning you get watch it eat. You know, you date a cocoa, whatever, because every morning. What what has that I don't know, I mean with your businesses, you know, you're <laughs> you're married. I I don't know if you no. are. Okay. So between dating and being married and and all of that what's what's what has that been like in terms of hmm. entitlement so for example if your husband was going to a function and he wanted kente would you sell it to him oh he has to pay i take oh, loans yeah. from his company and oh. i pay with interest <laughs> what are we saying yes okay i took when i was opening go back into a flagship store i took a loan how much was it between 50 to 100 thousand so this with interest and i respected it monthly i don't ever think i defaulted I mean, it got to a point, wifey tips, so he, they had to write some of the loans off for me. But then I paid. <laughs> I know what I paid. If they wrote it off for no, you, no, no. How did you I, I paid for the about, majority. I think, I, yes, about 70%. 70%. He yeah. would take his manual. <laughs> no. And, and so Business it's the same business. energy. Okay. You want Kinti. Unless, my dear, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a gift. It's a gift. But you can't just walk in to go by and say that it's my auntie's birthday, so I want to pick candy for my aunt. It won't happen. Yeah. I know you won't allow that. Don't try it. It won't happen. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. It won't happen. That's boundaries. Yeah. No. <laughs> like, yeah. that's no, it won't happen. <laughs> Seriously. No, no, no. 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 It won't happen. <laughs> if you take it for free, I'll find a way to take my money. From you. Even if it's five years. Because it's, and you see, my, my my partner is very financially calculated okay he takes care of his finances okay so then i would refer you to it you like to take care of your money allow me to take care of my money because all the things i would want to enjoy in this life they all can't come from your pocket Mm. so allow me build a business you cannot come and mess it up my mom can't wake up and say she's coming to go no 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 Mm -mm. (laughs) why would you want to do that no, because, I mean, isn't that the joy of a family business? No. No. Family no. business, we would have to sit down and structure it. Yeah. And we don't just pick and give it out. No. So, for example, if you were selling fried rice. Yes. Would, would the same principle apply? With the mindset that I have now, I think I would do the same thing. Like, you won't give your mother food for I free? I would give you food for free. But there's food in the house. Why are you coming to the restaurant to always come and take fried rice? Hey, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we cook in the- <laughs> Because wow. when we sell and we make the money. Wait, anyway, you said you build houses. Yes. Don't mind you giving one. each and every family <laughs> member your, your partner, your man? No, anyway, no. I no. mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you don't set the boundaries, listen, the profit yeah. margins on what we do is very minimal. 
Mm. Not just the profit, so, the like, cost that comes the with The cost this. of production and everything, running a business generally. Look at rent. Yes. Mm. Take rent. Dollars. Yeah. Yeah. ECG. How much is it? Yeah. You pay weekly. You buy. Don't let me get emotional. No, get emotional. <laughs> so that we, we, I mean, so that People we really came understand. In. We, we're that's what we're that's, talking this about. This is a calling. Like, running a business, it's a calling. It's like every day, I feel like I die small and tomorrow I'm awake. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then you, because you have friends and family, you're working to go back to doing it? No. It's not re- that we are difficult or we are stingy, but... No, you've I, got I to think I get it. I think I get it. Because listen, if your business should collapse today, people will laugh at you. So you, you <laughs> Mabel, for example, that's you. You said you're not married, right? Yes. So let's say you've you have you have started dating some, you know, fine boy. You know, he pulls up fine to boy. the store. Fine boy doesn't pay the bills. Oh no, let me <laughs> ask the question. I know now we can't even ask the question, please. Like you're okay, killing the question from okay, the get go. And what sort of gay behavior is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, don't come and manifest here. <laughs> so I mean, you know, point, you know, he pulls mm-hmm. up, you know, whatever. But he's he's nice. He's nice to you. Mm-hmm. He's not like an irresponsible person or whatever. You know, so he comes in, you know, he sees, you know, your backpacks, you know, the black ones mm-hmm. with like the materials. He's like, oh, babe. Well, like, this is really nice. You know, like, it'd be nice if I had it for work. And, and he's not... So he's not saying he's not asking the price, and it's, he's kind of like, "Oh, can I have it?" Well, well, how would you handle? It's either you're asking or you're not asking. I said he did. He hasn't asked. He hasn't asked. He doesn't need. He doesn't need it <laughs> because if you need it, you are going to buy it. Okay. Unless I want to give it to you as a gift, but even when I take it, I need to account for it mm. because I'd have to account to the like so basically you'll have to pay for it mm. pay for it or account for because we have an accountant yeah. mm. i need to answer for it so i'm also answerable to somebody yeah. wow yes so we are really not mixing the pleasure no 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 no, no. we and don't that's have how we've to. been able to survive we don't have to. by just not being liberal. it's just we one one of them <laughs> anyway it's not it's not about not being liberal but it is what it is these people would go out there and pay good money to buy other things they yeah, need. Yeah, of course. I yeah. used to be like that. Like, if somebody calls, oh, can I get... In fact, I'm eager to bring it to you. Can you take it as a gift? I've stopped. Because it's money that I'm I'm taking out. Mm-hmm. If you decide to even give 2,000 kente every week, you're finding somebody to dash a 2,000 cents worth of goba kente. How much is that in a month? Yeah, that's 8K. It's a lot. That's 8K. That's almost electricity bill so do you and the bills will not pause do you pay when when you so f- like for this yes. do you pay for yes, it there's a marketing budget for it mm-hmm. okay so you are the in year, the marketing yes, budget in okay. the marketing budget we put budget allowances for my clothing okay my accountant just like she, she does richie will sit down with you madam please this one this one so that in the year in the course of the year you won't come and say you needed money for this because you know there was no money assigned for this project Okay. Unless it's very necessary to the business. Otherwise, we are pausing it. So, and I think, with probably with both of you, you do a lot of personal marketing. We do. I mean, I, I haven't seen you do too much marketing yourself. I do. Oh, you do? I, have, I haven't seen... Maybe you haven't been on our page in a while. <laughs> Actually, yes. She's been marketing, wearing the dresses. Really, I saw that today. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I, I have. Okay. So then, so both Sometimes of you. Sometimes I even feel that people are tired of seeing my face <laughs> and oh, hearing really? my voice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, so then both of you do the the personal. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You see. With what we do, yes. Sometimes it's good to have models and it's good to have people talk about it, but you do it best in as in as much as people say that you need to separate the business from yourself. People also love to do create that connect, see who is behind it, yeah. you know, tell the story, you know, be a part. People feel connected when you do it yourself sometimes. So a few times I'll stay away, but often I also show my face just okay. to create that connection. Between yeah. the... Yes, the brand and then the people. Okay. Um, and you you do that too, because you, 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 you've done, like your face is, is Goba. <laughs> Yes, I'm a walking billboard for Goba. Because you're always wearing it. Yes. <laughs> I can't wear that as I'm saying, I know. Are you, yeah, you also like, you're always I'm wearing it. Yes. Oh, you people. It's not nice. Are you? 
<laughs> we, are, um, we are walking billboards. Walking billboards <laughs> for the brands. I have to show you what you can do with Kinty. Mm-hmm. So always have to give that options to our customers. And they love it, you know. Some will say, I didn't think I could use Kinty for a blazer or just make a skirt and wear it to work and all of that. I have to show customers. How it can be. Yes, mm-hmm. the varieties you can make with your Right, Kinty. and but but you don't bring in your family to help with the, with the branding and the advertising. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> so let's talk about conflict in in this same you know family and friends and and relationships, partners, children, mothers, you know all of that. Have you guys ever had some experience of conflict? You know where really putting your foot down or the boundaries that you are putting in has created a problem. Hmm. Who's going well, first? Yes, but we always we always resolve it. I remember my dad. You know, in the beginning, he didn't understand why I would always ask him to pay for something. Because when he's going to the hospital, he said, oh, I need something for my doctor. Then I'll say, okay, it's 100 CDs. <laughs> then he said, okay, I'll pay you later. And I'll go and demand for my money. Okay. I know. <laughs> they always remind you that they paid your school fees. Which they did. <laughs> yeah, and, and you were using his truck. As yes, but <laughs> like we because can't get any appreciation. Yeah. So sometimes you think about it. A few times, yes, you'd pay, but a few times too. You let it go. Yeah. I've had you conflict. Know. I remember um, a friend came to make a purchase. What happened was when she came, the timelines for the order was quite short. So usually we would take you through the process that if you want to do a custom made, it would take about 12 weeks to get it completed. Okay. Now I took it that, oh, it's my friend. She says she needs it urgently. So let's squeeze it in. Let me hold on to somebody's order and squeeze in for my friend. So I told my friend I would do it in a matter of a month for you. At the end of the month, I had been updating this precious friend of mine. And uh, I love <laughs> the use of the word <laughs> precious. Precious friend of mine. So um, about one week for the order to be due, I told her that, oh, dear, I know I told you you'll be ready in four weeks. But unfortunately, we couldn't deliver on time. Because, again, I told you the timelines for your order is 12 weeks. But we are trying to squeeze it in four weeks. Anymore. This girl said she didn't order, want the order again. Are you Cancelled. Serious? Yes, because hmm. I wasn't able to fulfill my timelines. So I took the lesson in it. That my friend, you come. I really want your business, but we will go through the system because the relationship matters to me. I wouldn't want to squeeze myself and say I can do it in four weeks. Disappoint you. You will never look at the fact that your order didn't come in early. You rather backmarked me and say that. And say that, yeah. yeah. But but was it like for an, an engagement or a wedding or for something that had a set date? No, I think she was going to use it in six months, time, but she just wanted to make sure that her order is with her. Oh, but then that's unreasonable. That's unreasonable. <laughs> but they would never remember that part. So we would go through the system. I've had, <laughs> I've had a lot of issues, mm. even with B2B, you know, business-to-business relationships. I don't like how people treat business because i will not treat your business like that so just don't do it to mine but some d- again i will not blame you i will put system in it i'm always learning from my failures and my mistakes so if i do business with you and i don't like how it's ending i sit back reflect and ask myself where did i go wrong mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. it is me that didn't set clear expectations the next time you're doing business there are expectations there so we don't want to i don't want to lose your relationship and i don't want to mess my business up we get to have a beautiful relationship yeah. and you get to always mm-hmm. love, admire and respect Go My Back business. In Yes. Mm-hmm. So um, Mabel, do you think it's easier then in conclusion to just completely separate, you know, family and friends, you know, just almost like, you know, stay away as much as possible. Maybe order online. Maybe don't come to the store. Maybe. Oh no, come to the store, but then respect that I'm running a business. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. respect that I'm running a business. Come to the store, we'll serve you everything, but just respect that it's a business I'm running and this is what I live with. This is what, it's not even me, it's about the other team members. Everyone mm-hmm. survives on that. Yeah. So just give me that respect, that's yeah. all. Okay, same for you. Same for me, and I will teach you. So we'll talk. Baba, I need Kente. Oh, anymore, um, I'm driving, and really, I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation starts with my driving. <laughs> <laughs> and I would transfer Alfred <laughs> easily with no apology 
and it's not me it, it doesn't mean that i'm not interested in your order as soon as i see i move you to a team member yeah i am on the team member because mm. it matters to me my reputation is at stake i've mo- i've moved my friend or a very cherished customer to you you would have to deliver okay. and most often than not they do an exceptional service mm. that i i would even be i'll be delaying in responding to your messages mm-hmm. but whoever is Obviously assigned that's their to, job so yes. they are on they do it the better time. i always tell my friends if you work directly with go back and say you know you wouldn't okay. even want to test me you would you go straight you need to go. <laughs> yeah okay let me straight. do a few messages um vincent says i'm an entrepreneur when it comes to family and friends they all pay for my products like strangers very simple if you are not ready to respect my business enough to pay for it then you are disrespecting me in the first place meanwhile these same people will pay exorbitant prices for products being sold by strangers this is one of the reasons many Ghanaian businesses are not growing I'll have none of that. Right <laughs> from the get-go, I made everything crystal clear. <laughs> That's he says, when business people speak, business people can relate so well. Someone is screaming, you asked your partner to pay for your products. <laughs> business is business, people. My number one rule, don't abuse whatever relationship we've got. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, basically, I mean, what, what you guys are, are saying... So, like, there's no advantage to marry you or be (laughs) your boy. Like, you won't. There's no advantage. There is. You enjoy it in the house. But not to be the kids. You boys should stop that. Um, someone's asking, Nimo, are you saying the company's name is Goba? Yes, it's Goba. G-O-B-A, just like you spelled it. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that he said apart from asking <laughs> um, Anisa? Okay. All right. Um, I think we are, we're done. So, okay. yeah, time is, you know. So maybe just like 30 seconds, just your, your, your closing thoughts, you know, on the whole business, pleasure, family, friends thing. Um, well... For us at MSIMS, I mean, like I said earlier in the beginning, it's we are grateful to all our clients who patronized us. And um, had it not been for them, we wouldn't have survived 14 years. So mm. thank you for always paying for recommending us and um, for liking our post on social media. Just, you know, keep, keep, sup- yeah, keep supporting <laughs> us. And we are grateful. <laughs> thank you. All right, Baba. You know, you know, one of the special moments for me is when my friend tells me that, Hey, I saw go back in here and I was so excited. And people were talking about go back in my office, and I feel so proud. Mm. Yeah. So support it. Let the dream work. So that I would always make <laughs> Let it the proud. Dream work. Let, Let the, the dream, dream work. work. All support right. Support it. So that I would always make you proud. Because I don't want go back to be something that's just a time. Came year. and went. Yeah. Yeah. I want a legacy. That, yeah. And I would know that my family and friends want that for me too. Yeah. yeah. So I love so that. Let's make it happen. Well, Shout out to all my customers i love you all thank on you on behalf of the friends who don't <laughs> like to pay from today we have changed yes. <laughs> when we walk into stores we'll respect that you know our friends and our family members are really trying to create something for themselves thank you guys so much for coming thank you and um, thank you for staying tuned in the news is coming up next if you missed any part of the, of the show it was live on facebook so once you go to our page you should be able to watch it back coffee Ford is coming up after the news my name is anima anima thank you again see you next week at seven o'clock big thank you to the whole team um stay safe out there joy 99.7 fm